hey, I'm placing a lot of cells in my station and I've got a whole bunch more to place. And when I go to place them, because my station only has one origin per cell, I have to place it, then I've got to move it. Sure would be nice if MicroStation had uh, multiple points in which I could place them, maybe list them out. That would help me out quite a bit, make my job much faster. Well, it's funny you should mention that because in MicroStation Connect Update 16, we introduced placement points. It's where you can assign multiple placement points or like multiple origins or insertion points if you're an AutoCAD user. And you can place the cells by those points. They'll be listed out on the tool settings window. And I think it's exactly what you need. It's going to save you a lot of time. That sounds like exactly what I need. Can you show me how to actually do that? How does that work? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'll show you. Okay, so we're going to look at placing cells using the new placement point method introduced in MicroStation Connect Update 16. So right now, the tab that I have selected is Home. I'm going to switch this to Content. I'm doing this just so that I can see the parametric components here, which again, we don't worry about parametric cells. That's a different video. We're going to be looking at the placement points method. But first, let's talk about what it is. On the left here, this is what I'm going to be trying to create here. I've got these cells that are basically uh, switches. So you can see I needed to place a switch by this point on the left, on this point on the right, and this point on the bottom. So if I go to my Place Cell tool and I open up my Cell Library dialog, I've created a cell library for this demonstration. Now I have an old school cell. It's a single pole, double throw. This is an example of your current cells in MicroStation. If I double click on this, you can see this makes it the active cell. You can see I have the standard options, active angle, scale. What I'm not seeing is an option to place using my placement points. So now what I have to do, you can see where my origin is. It's just kind of in the centroid between the two poles. So that's not going to help me. I don't want to place it and move it. I'm going to be doing that quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is show you the new placement point method. I'm going to go to this next cell, which has placement points. I'm going to double click. And what you're going to see is MicroStation recognizes that the cell you've made active has placement points and it shows me those placement point options. Now I've got three choices. I have default, which is just the standard origin. I created contact one, two, and three. So if I choose default, you can see it's placing it by the centroid there. If I choose contact, let's say number one, it's now placing it by the bottom of that circle, which is contact point number one. So I can place it down there. I can continue on, go to number two, that means I can place it to this side. You can see I'm placing it by the left. Each one of these is a different location. And I can come to this point here and place it. And now you can see I've got them all placed. And I didn't have to place them and move them. So this is the advantage. Now, how do we go about doing this? So I'm going to reset. I have a cell right here that I'm going to show you. I'm going to demonstrate how do we assign placement points. So if I select this, you can see this is a double pole, double throw. I need to edit the cell. So you first have to have a cell and then you can open the cell library. Cell libraries are just DGNs. You can open the model, which is the cell. You can then make edits. I'm going to right click right here on that dialog, open for editing. That closes my active file. That opens the cell library and makes that model active. Right now you can see my origin is right here in the center, pretty typical. I need to assign placement points. So this is why I have the content tab selected. I go to placement point. The placement point dialog appears. I can add or remove placement points. So I'm gonna say I wanna add. I have choices on the tool settings window. I'm gonna be choosing the first one, which is place associated point on element. So I'm picking a point on an element. I need to give it a name. So I'm gonna call this one contact 01. I now pick the point that I want that contact 01 placement point to be associated to. That's going to be the left side of this one, data. You'll see a little red dot appear there confirming that's what it is. I'm going to create a second one. I'm going to call this one contact 02. I'm going to pick the left side of this circle. You can now see that I have two placement points indicated by the red dots. I'm going to go back to my file using the little 
Green dot in the bottom left corner with the white arrow. That closes the cell library, takes me back to my file. I'm now going to place that cell. Now, when you are changing cells like I just did, I'm opening up, going back to the master file, going to the cell library. You're going to need to compress your cell library for it to understand the changes I've made because my question indexes them for speed. So I'm just going to go to file, compress. Now, if I double click on this cell, you're going to see that it has placement point option. I have the two placement points. There's contact 01. You can see I'm placing it by that location. And if I chose contact point number two, you can see I'm placing it by that second contact point. So that's how you can assign what we call placement points to existing cells in MicroStation. That gives you the option to place the cells how you want to place them, not have to place them and then move them. So some cells you don't need to, other cells you would like to be able to place the cell and then choose a different origin to place it. So hopefully that helped you. Going to make you even better at MicroStation. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.